It is said that culture is the epicenter of human action, growth and development and the ethnic community in Abuja made sure this was well interpreted in their third edition of Usain Ethic celebration at the River Plate Garden, Abuja. Like Magnet, the event attracted every element of ethnic culture, fashion, masquerade, dance, music and other cultural nuances. I'll tell you first, we are the ethnic people. The Cross River is made up of a whole lot of people, but as the ethics and the rest of the group of people, we cherish our heritage. So when we have a chance to exhibit what we are proud of, we take it and we don't take it lightly. The essence is not just to identify and celebrate, but also to introduce and integrate their children and spouses of non-ethic descent into the tradition. We believe that we should come together as a people, first of all unite, bring our children to show what we used to enjoy in those days in Calabar, you know, and then again resuscitate the language, the food, the traditions, the, cult, the clothing of, the, of, our, of our people. But crown it all with looking ahead. What do we have planned for the future? Where are we going to be as a people in the next 50, 100 years? The men flaunted with elegance their dexterity in dancing, entertaining the women who cheered them up. At some point, they equally joined the dance procession. I'm delighted, I'm excited, I'm happy to be here to celebrate my culture, to see all the different... Um, all the different words. Masquerade <laughs> is interesting. I appreciate all of them. Well, um, this is um, Nkagbo, ACNF of Dua Viva. Yeah, this is a social and cultural group in um, Cross River State, precisely for the ethics, the effort, the cause, and the Okoyong. So we are based in Calabar. So as you can see, we are made up of young sons of the land. You can be a member if you have a direct lineage. Your father and your mother are from there, or one of the parents are from there. The electrifying masquerade performances was one of the features that thrilled this gathering, which has now become the prelude to the Yuletide season. Today, many African cultures, including that of the ethics, are facing threats of extinction as a result of globalization. To survive this hurdle, events like this are critical. You see, our identity is very important. We cannot um, eliminate our culture. We have to first of all know where we come from. God is so wonderful that it makes me an, an ethnic man. If I speak, you for some reason you know, oh, that's a Calabar man. If a Hausa man speaks, you usually know. That's the identity. So we should not joke with it. It's something that God had given us. So we don't know the reason why he happened that way, but it's very important. We have to preserve them. The essence is, like we said from day one, we want to make it possible for as many people in Nigeria to know much about our culture, our tradition, our norms, our food, our dressing, everything. You could see our small children enjoying themselves. Some of them have not seen this traditional masquerade in their entire lifetime. So we want to evolve a culture that will leave a mark for them to know that they belong somewhere and they have their roots somewhere. This kind of event is like a wake-up call for many Nigerians. If you've got your culture, you've got your language, you've got your, your tradition, try to keep it. The organizers have linked Osan Ethic to a mini Calabar carnival, which has now become a global force to be reckoned with as it is adding value to the creative economy. This is what happens at Christmas in Calabar. All the masquerades come out, all the traditional dances, and all of us come out in our Calabar dresses, our ethnic dresses, 
and the men come out in their loincloth. So this is a very big day of joy for us and we're very happy to be here. Today is the day where we showcase to the rest of the world, those who can't come to us for Christmas, that this is an opportunity to see what we have. We have a heritage that is beyond fascination. This goes to show the rich cultural heritage of the people. The people are very peaceful, very, very hospitable, very accommodating, and I tell you, it's not only in December that we have Christmas, just like you've seen today. Usen Ethic, which comes up every last Saturday of November, is getting bigger and better. And the indigents of Ethic Nation will continue to use it not just as a platform for cultural celebration or